American Airlines is undergoing a surprise makeover. Some of the people who are keeping the airline flying through Chapter 11 are wondering if the company has its priorities straight. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg spoke one-on-one -on -one with American's boss. I imagine there are some of you who might have expected a different press conference this morning. When American Airlines CEO Tom Horton appeared before the press on Thursday, he didn't announce the beleaguered airline had emerged from bankruptcy or that it would merge with another airline. Instead, he revealed a new logo and bold new plan to rebrand the iconic airline. We've been uh, modernizing everything about the company, starting with our entire fleet of airplanes. The extensive effort includes painting more than 600 planes, 550 of them brand new. There will be new kiosks at every airport, all new uniforms, improved cuisine for passengers. This is going to enable flight attendants to see passenger information in real time. And advanced technology for flight attendants. This is a strategic decision on your part to change the image of the airline. It is, but it's, it's more than that. It's about creating a more modern and refreshing travel experience for our customers. So all the things we've been doing have been building up to that. But for all the fanfare, perhaps most surprised by the announcement were the employees who recently agreed to contract concessions. American Airlines management is very concerned about rebranding the airline and, and rolling out this new airline for, for, their, for their customers, and, and, and that's, all, that's all good but it's only putting fresh paint on a house with a bad foundation. A foundation fraught with a bankruptcy filing in 2011 and bitter negotiations that go back years with the carrier's ground workers, pilots, and flight attendants. And what do they want from you? Oh, everything. But I testified in court by saying, look, if you want to shoot us in the head, go ahead and shoot us in the head, but don't hand us the gun and ask us to do it ourselves. To make matters more complicated, Horton is still dealing with a merger proposal from rival U.S. Airways, which all three of Americans' unions supported. After seeing what they proposed, I thought, this is absolutely the way we have to go, both for U.S. Airways and for American to survive and compete. Amid all this contention, for two years, in fact, American Airlines was covertly planning a major relaunch of its own brand, the first in 40 years. It's an expensive and expansive makeover and includes painting planes like this one inside a secret hangar at a former Air Force base in Victorville, California. When somebody says to you, all right, you put some paint on the plane, you redid the logo, but that may not be enough. Well, I think that's true because it, th there are so many other things we've done as part of this restructuring in terms of getting our cost structure in line, getting our capital structure sorted out, and then building for the future. Merger and new image aside, 2012 was a transformative year for Horton at American. Annual revenues were the best in company history at nearly $25 billion. They hired 1,500 new flight attendants and ultimately came to terms with pilots who late last year demonstrated against the airline and caused record delays and cancellations. Getting those contracts in place now allows you to go back to the judge and say, we can now come out of bankruptcy. That's right. Yeah, we, we're now at the tail end of the bankruptcy process, of the restructuring process, and uh, the company is poised to be very successful and profitable going forward. Since I got this job, I've tried to spend a lot of time just out and about. Still. Labor isn't convinced Horton's team can lead American into the future. Do you have any confidence left in the American management team? I hate to say it, but I don't, you know, I, I'm willing to listen. I've always said I'm willing to listen. I told the American team that... But that wasn't my question. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can... Not right now, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't. Peter Greenberg is here. Is this merger going to take place? It's looking more and more likely that it will. The creditors want it. The unions want it. Uh, the question is not whether America is going to come out of bankruptcy. It is. The question is how is it going to come out of bankruptcy and then who's going to run the company. The one thing that's going to remain the same, you saw the new makeover, it'll still be called American and it's going to have that new livery, that one they're stuck with. What's it cost to paint each of these planes? About $80,000 for a 737 and about $250,000 for a 777. All right, Peter Greenberg, thank you. you